the very first. Give me my receipt. Get out of here. Ma'am, please leave. Give me my receipt. My problem is your problem. You're the one screaming at me first. Get ready for some epic payback as we dive into a compilation of Karen's facing instant karma in the most unexpected ways. Watch these entitled individuals get a taste of their own medicine and see how quickly their attitudes come back to haunt them. Now let's go to the first case when Karen smashed things and got a painful ending. Hanged on October 31st, 2023 at a Walmart convenience store in Florida. Shoppers go about their business, browsing the aisles and grabbing their essentials. And little do they know this peaceful atmosphere is about to be shattered by a woman whose actions turn a peaceful store into the scene of a dramatic confrontation. See the woman who will be the center of our story, Karen, rides into the store on a scooter with an urgent look on her face. Her demeanor is anything but calm. She begins by aggressively pulling items off the shelves and throwing them into her shopping cart. And her movements are erratic and it is clear that she is not in the mood for a casual shopping trip. Soon, her actions begin to attract the attention of other customers and store employees. store employees trying to maintain order approach her cautiously. They tried to ask if she needed assistance, hoping to defuse the situation before it got out of hand. However, the woman's response was anything but cooperative. In fact, the conversation began with a simple question, is there anything we can do for you today? The woman's response was immediate and harsh. She responded, her voice rising, I don't need your help, leave me alone. A great agitation was palpable, and it was clear that this was not going to be an easy solution. As the situation continued to escalate, her behavior became increasingly erratic. She began to deliberately knock items off the shelves, creating an unmissable mess. Her frustration turned to rage as she threw products onto the floor, screaming incoherently. But onlookers could only watch in disbelief as the chaos unfolded. At this point, the store manager had no choice but to call the police. He called the emergency services, explaining the situation and requesting assistance. His voice was filled with urgency as he described the escalating chaos and the need for immediate intervention. And when the police arrived, the woman's behavior had reached new heights of absurdity. She began making, making outlandish statements, shouting racist and conspiracy theories, you're against me because of who I am. She shouted, her accusations becoming increasingly absurd the situation was out of control. The officers entered the store, assessed the chaos, and approached the woman with a mixture of authority and calm. They attempted to defuse the situation, speaking to her in a firm but calm tone. You're not supposed to be recording. Yes, ma'am. The officers attempted to calm her down, explaining that they needed her to leave the premises. They reminded her that her behavior was disruptive and that they were there to enforce the law. Her response was combative, insisting that she was being treated unfairly. She got off the trolley, knocking over all the items on the supermarket shelves in a show of defiance. As the situation escalated, the officers decided to arrest her. They laid out the charges, disorderly conduct, destruction of property, and resisting arrest. Her reaction to this news was predictably explosive. She continued to scream and struggle as the officers attempted to restrain her. In Florida, disorderly conduct is defined under Florida statutes 877.03. Under this law, disorderly conduct is conduct that causes a public nuisance or disturbance such as shouting, fighting, or obstructing traffic. Conduct that causes chaos or, or disharmony in a public setting such as gathering with the intent to cause a disturbance. Karen's yelling and disturbing the environment in the supermarket violated this law. Disorderly conduct is generally considered a second degree misdemeanor in Florida. If convicted, the sentence can include up to 60 days in jail and a fine up to $500. Also in Florida, destruction of property is defined by Florida Statutes 806.13. This is the law that deals with damaging or destroying another person's property. The law defines destruction of property as causing damage, destruction or diminution of property value, including breaking windows, damaging vehicles, or, or other acts of vandalism. Uh, the act must be intentional, meaning there must be an intention to destroy or damage the property not due to negligence, 
Karen's act of smashing and throwing items in the supermarket fits this bill perfectly. If the damage is $1,000 or more, the destruction of property can be charged as a second degree felony. Final, according to Florida Penal Code Section 843.02, it is an offense to resist or obstruct the execution of police duties without the use of force. Examples include fleeing, refusing to cooperate, or obstructing without the use of force. Karen's escape from arrest falls under this law. Aseptic resisting is generally considered a third degree felony. The penalties Karen faces include up to five years in prison and a fine of up to $5,000. Seems like this woman just landed herself in hot water, but we'll wait until you see this next one. Hey, on May 9th, 2023, a video surfaced online capturing a heated and heat exchange between a customer and an employee at the Lucha Libre Taco Shop in San Diego. The incident, which has since gone viral, has sparked discussion and debate across the internet. Let's break down the events, explore the context, and understand the impact of the confrontation. The video in question was first shared on TikTok by user BrendaPina783. The video shows an angry female customer, later identified as Taco Shop Karen, engaging in a loud and heated exchange with a female employee. The altercation took place at the Lucha Libre Taco Shop, located at 1810 Washington Street in San Diego's Middletown neighborhood. In the footage, the customer can be seen shouting obscenities and insulting the employee, words like F a King B. T8 and C and T and T are thrown around as the customer asks for the receipt. At some point, the customer attempts to grab the receipt from the employee, causing the situation to escalate. Give me my receipt, you Wait. fucking bitch. Oh. Yeah, fucking cunt. Ma'am, please leave the restaurant. I want my receipt back. I'll give you, you a new receipt. I want my receipt. You see the video quickly gained traction across various social media platforms, racking up hundreds of thousands of views. The violent nature of the fight and the aggressive behavior of the customer has drawn a variety of reactions from the public. Many viewers expressed shock and horror at the customer's behavior, while others were quick to question the context and actions of both parties involved. I want my receipt. Give me my receipt. I'll wait. Not until I have the receipt. Just give me the receipt. Yeah. Give me your receipt. Yeah. Give me the receipt. Oh, I'm oh man, man, what the? Don't do that shit to me. Don't do that. Don't do that shit to me either. Give me my receipt. Need to get a fuller picture of the incident, we looked at the customer side of the story. According to a Yelp review posted by an account believed to be the customer's husband, the customer felt overcharged. The review claimed that a Lucha Libra employee used her credit card without permission and that she was treated unfairly, leading to her extreme reaction. Give me my receipt! Give me my receipt! You fuck off! You don't fucking touch me! Fuck me! Give me my receipt! Give me my receipt! Day to date, there has been no official word on whether any charges have been filed in connection with the incident. Neither the customer nor Lucha Libre Taco Shop has commented further. Damn, this incident serves as a reminder of the importance of respectful communication and the challenges faced by those working in the service industry. Under California Penal Code Section 415, Conduct that threatens or endangers another person can be prosecuted if it poses a serious threat or makes another person feel threatened or endangered. This includes using threatening language or speech to make another person feel unsafe. This can include threats of violence or assault. Specific actions or acts of violence can create danger or cause anxiety to another person, even if no actual harm has been done. Karen's verbal abuse and even physical struggle with the restaurant employee violated the scope of this law. A 415C offense is considered a misdemeanor punishable by penalties, such as a fine up to $400 and up to 90 days in jail, depending on the severity of the offense. In today's final case, we're diving into a viral moment that sparked a lot of debate online. A TikTok video by Ashley recently went viral, capturing a tense exchange with a woman commonly referred to as Karen at a drive through bank in Vero Beach, Florida. On September 3rd, 2022, a video clip showed Ashley, the cameraman, standing at a drive through ATM, seemingly troubleshooting a problem or issue with the machine. As she waited, a woman who was later labeled as Karen got out of her car and approached Ashley's car. The woman was seen leaning against a structure near the ATM chute. The woman was asked if there was a problem with the machine. Ashley responded, it wasn't me indicating that the problem wasn't her fault. Karen then responded, okay, if you have a problem with the machine, go somewhere else. Ashley, clearly frustrated, replied, go somewhere else. That's where my card clerk is. That's where all my money is. I'm serious. Is there a problem with the machine? I'm 
Yes, yes, I already said that. There's a problem with the machine. It's not me. Well, go somewhere else. It has my card, lady. It has all of my money in it. The interaction escalated as both women spoke up. Karen eventually returned her car, making a snide remark about Ashley's card before leaving. Ashley, now clearly upset, yelled, have a great day, Karen. Love you. I'm sitting here right now. Goodbye. Have a wonderful day. You're the one screaming at me first. It's the machine. Have a wonderful day, Karen. Love you. In an update, Ashley clarified her stance in the comments. She explained that her decision to start recording was out of concern for her safety as the woman was honking and yelling aggressively. Ashley stressed that she did not provoke the confrontation and emphasized the dangers of approaching someone at an ATM. In Florida, disorderly conduct can result in a variety of penalties depending on the severity and nature of the behavior. According to Florida statutes, 807.03 misdemeanor disorderly conduct includes acts such as yelling, causing a public nuisance, or causing a disturbance. And this can include yelling, arguing, or making loud noises in a public place that are likely to cause annoyance and disturbance, causing annoyance to others, or disturbing the public peace through harassment threats or inappropriate conduct. Hey, Karen's yelling and honking put her in violation of this law. If convicted, the violator could be fined or imprisoned for up to 60 days. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about how this situation was handled? And uh, we'd love to hear from you.